in this lesson, we're going to look at how to work with paragraph indents. I've got some text on the screen and the text has been justified. You'll remember that from the last lesson. That's where if we select a paragraph, we can use the alignment tools, the justify alignment tool, to have nice straight lines of text down either margin. What indentation does is indents the text away from this margin area. And we can do that on the left of the page or the right of the page. We'll do this on the first paragraph. Because this is a paragraph formatting tool that we're going to work with, it means that we don't have to select the whole paragraph, but we do need to make sure the cursor insertion point, the flashing line, is somewhere on the paragraph that we want to work with. If it helps you, select the whole paragraph. It really doesn't matter. The tool we're going to use is on the Format menu, and then we drop down to Paragraph. I mentioned this briefly in the last video, where we could do the normal alignment that's left, centred, and right, and justified. And we could do that from there. But the section I want to look at now is the indentation section. I also want to bring to your attention the preview window at the bottom. Any changes we make here will be reflected in the preview window, so we can get a feel for what we're going to do. So looking at the indentation section, we've got a left indent and a right indent. A left indent indents the text away from the left margin. The right indent indents the text away from the right margin. Let's see how this works. We're just going to alter the number in the left indentation box. And we can do that by using these rollover arrows. So we can increase just by clicking and decrease just by clicking. And as we do that, you'll notice in the preview window the effect of that that will have. So if I increase this to two centimeters, the text will be indented two centimeters from the left margin. Let's see that applied. You can see now how the text has jumped away from the left margin. So that was selecting the text, the selecting the paragraph that you want to work with, and then format paragraph and using the indentation section altering the numbers in the left or the right. Now I use those arrows to increase or decrease that number. In the right indentation I want to show you that we can actually just type a number into there. Let's put in 3.5. I don't need to put centimetres, the computer knows that we're working in centimetres. Your computer might be configured differently. It might be talking about inches there. If it is, then 3.5 would mean 3.5 inches. So whatever the default setting is, is what that uh, the computer will understand by the numbers that you type in. So I've typed 3.5. If I click on OK now, you can see the text is now indented 2 centimetres from the left margin and 3.5 centimetres from the right margin. Again, that's selecting the text or clicking somewhere on the paragraph. Format, paragraph. So we've got the left indentation and the right indentation. Indents the text away from the left or the right margin. There's one other way of indenting, and that is indenting the first line of text. I'm just going to cancel this to show you what I mean there. Many of you will recognise this as a standard way of writing with pen and paper. When you are creating a new paragraph of text, you very often indent the first line. Like that. Now I'm doing that just by putting the cursor insertion point in front of the first word of the paragraph and pressing the Tab key, which is just to the left of the Q key on your QWERTY keyboard. So just to the left of the Tab key. Pressing it once 
indents the text away, just on the first line, away from the left margin. Now that works by pressing the tab key, but it doesn't give you much control. So I'm going to undo that and show you how to do it with much more control. So again, either select the whole paragraph or make sure you've got the cursor insertion point somewhere on the paragraph you want to work with. Then select Format, down to Paragraph again. Again, we're using the indentation section, but we, these first two sections indent the whole paragraph, but we just want to indent the first line. So we use this special bit at the right-hand side. And if I click on the drop-down arrow, you can see that we can select first line indent as a special indenting feature and you can see the effect of that in the preview window. Now I promised you more control and you have more control because in the buy section you can alter the amount of indentation. The default is 1.27 centimeters but you can alter that. Again you can just type in the box or you can use the arrows to change the indentation. So I'm going to indent it by two centimeters just on the first line. Before I click on OK, note that you can mix these up. So you can't have a full paragraph indent, full paragraph indent from the left, for example, and have a first line indent. I now click on OK, and you can see the first line of text of this paragraph has been indented to two centimeters. You see that I'm actually pointing now to the horizontal ruler. That has got measurements on it that we'll come to in later uh, videos. But you can see those measurements reflect the number of centimeters away from the margin. So I set up a left indent of two centimeters and we can see there it's on two centimeters. Just while I'm doing that, you'll notice that there are three little icons. Left indent is a square, the sort of triangular shape is a hanging indent, and the top one is a first line indent. We can use these rather than your menu system. To make life easy, I'll just use this bottom uh, paragraph. So again, I'll highlight it so you can see that I'm working with the whole paragraph, but you don't need to. This is a paragraph feature. You'll notice those three icons I talked about are all aligned to the left margin. But we can use these to click and drag. Just clicking and dragging. If I click and drag the left indent, that's the bottom square, then the rest come with it. And you can see I'm getting a full paragraph indent. So I can alter my indents by clicking and dragging. If I want a first line indent, for example, I can use that top icon, first line indent, to also click and drag and give me a first line indent. Just to the right of the ruler bar is the icon for the right indent. So again, I can click and drag that to alter the right indent. They can be quite tricky to get used to, especially if your mouse control isn't uh, as good as it could be. Um, you can use those. Uh, most people, I feel, tend to use the menu system. So remember, all you are doing is select the paragraph that you're working with and then format, paragraph, and use the indentation section to set up the indentations that you wish to work with. That's paragraph indentation.